Hey guys, welcome to another LED episode. Today, um, I'll be showing you first how to remove a background easily from any photo. And then secondly, I'll show you how to recreate any object or handwriting from real life and transfer it over to Lightburn for laser cutting. My first example, I'll be using this piece right here. This is from a client. He wants me to recreate this on uh, acrylic so in I could technically measure every single um, shape on here and then just transfer over those dimensions to uh, light burn but that will take a long time so the easier way of doing it is what we will do we will put it on a contrasting background so this is black so the contrasting background will be white and then we will just take a photo straight on top of it it won't be perfect since the camera does not look 90 degrees all the way to the surface of this table but it is close enough um, and then when we take a picture we will transfer that over to an app called photo room to take out the background and then transfer it over to um, light burn and then uh, trace it and then laser cut and it. And for the second example, we'll be transferring my handwriting from here. So let's write my name. We will be transferring my handwriting from this paper to Lightburn. Okay, so f for the first example, we need to take a picture of this object here from the top using my cell phone here. I'm using my GoPro to record right now, so sorry if the audio and video is not the best. So what I'm doing is that I'm taking a photo of this object as close to the top as possible and that is sorry I'm, I'm in video mode okay there you go as close to the top as possible and as uh, perpendicular as possible to the object okay now that we took that photo Um, we there are some shadows so we have to take out the shadows and the background so that when we use the, the automatic trace tool on light burn it won't uh, trace those shadows as well to do that we use an app called photo room I'll link it down in the description below but this is the app right here photo room Okay, now you have to go down here to start from photo and choose the photo that we just took, which is this guy right here. And it will automatically take out the background. And we will choose the one without white or black, just the bare background right here. So it pretty much cut out the shape for us automatically and then we will click save and save to gallery and now that's saved to gallery you just send it over to Lightburn okay once you load your image into Lightburn it should look like this what we want to do now is we want to trace this image by right clicking and then trace image we will fade the image so we will see the tracing better and then adjust our thresholds so we have a good tracing as close to the edges as possible that's okay now pull it out from your image and you should have the tracing there we'll leave the image on the side for now okay now that we have this um, we 
we can make some changes to it if you don't like the shape of it uh, or a shape of some of the shape um, uh, the features you can make changes by right clicking and then ungrouping so each entity will be separate and you choose the entity that you want to um, adjust and you can edit the nodes so for example if you want to adjust this um, shape right here we select it and then the left side you go to edit nodes and then you can pull each node to adjust to your liking for me this just looks good so I don't need to adjust anything alright now that we have done that I'll select everything and group everything together again just to make it easier and then what we want to do is choose a horizontal line from our uh, tracing and then we want to make it parallel with an, a horizontal line from the light burn um, uh, grid lines right here. So for example, we'll choose this bottom line right here. And we want to make it horizontal with the um, this grid line right here on light burn. We have to do this because we didn't... Um, we tried to take the picture at a perpendicular... Um, perpendicularly to the object but it's not perfect and uh, sometimes so you select everything zoom in a little bit and you'll see on light burn once you select something you'll see some handles on the left right top and bottom don't adjust these handles here in the middle adjust the um, handles on the edges so you can make it bigger or smaller or you can also rotate it right so we want to rotate it so that this bottom line here and this um, uh, grid line is horizontal um, not horizontal sorry is uh, parallel we can just eyeball that that looks good so now that we know that this is parallel with this what we want to do next is to make sure that our um, our piece and our drawing is the same size right to do that um, you just measure a feature on your piece and then you have to make whatever feature you chose you have to make that same feature on your tracing the same length for example we'll choose this feature right here so this line we will measure that using a caliper or if you don't have a caliper you can use a ruler so that one is seven millimeters so we want to make sure that if this is seven millimeters that this piece right here the same feature on our um on our tracing is also seven millimeters on light burn to do that we will create a horizontal line that's seven millimeters make sure it's horizontal and then select it go to width and make it seven make sure your height is zero because you only want it to be in the horizontal direction and we will adjust um, we will adjust our shape our uh, piece here so that this line will be the same length as this line by using this adjustment handles and you can just eyeball this zoom in a little bit more Make it a bit smaller. There is also um, a measuring feature on Lightburn, which you can use as well. And I'll show you that in a little bit here. It looks a little bit bigger, so maybe a bit smaller. 
All right. As you can see, by moving the handles on the edges, everything else is getting smaller, not just this line. So everything is the same ratio. Okay, that looks pretty close. This line and this line looks pretty close. So that should be okay. On the left side here, you can also use the measuring tool. Um, so the segment length is what you wanna see. You wanna see f from here to here. 6.95 it says so that's close enough for me so that should be okay now when you do that you know for sure that your uh, piece that you're trying to copy is the same size as your tracing on light burn and I also want to this hole here is where a screw will go so I don't really like the shape of that I want to make and I know the hole size is three millimeters so I can just uh, create a three millimeter circle and then kind of put it on top of that one just eyeball it as well and then I'll delete ungroup everything and then delete the previous uh, shape there and that's it once you have this you just set your layer to line and set your speed and power depending on your laser cutter and send it over and get it cut once you cut everything it ended up looking like this so it's pretty much the exact same replica so this is the original this is made out of carbon fiber and this one I cut out of black acrylic and it pretty much is the replica of it so that's how you um, replicate an object from photo all the way to light burn and all the way to the laser cutting stage and for a second example will be um, transferring my handwriting from this paper and putting it to light burn. So to do that, we do the exact same thing we did in the first example, which is to take a picture as perpendicular as possible to the top of the um, image or the handwriting. Okay, that's good. Now this is not mandatory, you don't have to take out the background on this because there's no shadows or anything, because it's just writing, but for the sake of practicing to use photo room, we'll do it in this case again. So you go to photo room, again I'll link this on the description down below. Start from photo, this is the photo that we just took. and it's taking out the background now we're left with just the writing you can choose this the bare background and then we'll go up to the top right and then save to gallery and then once it's saved to your gallery you'll just transfer it over to your uh, computer as a JPEG or as a PNG and then pull it into light burn. Okay, so for our next example, we took a photo of my handwriting here and then put it through photo room and took out the background. Uh, once you get that PNG or JPEG image, you transfer it over to light burn and this is what it'll look like once you transfer it. So this is a JPEG, uh, PNG image of my handwriting. You can actually still see the watermark photo room right here. You can right click it select and right click it trace image and then we fade the image zoom in a little bit to see if we're tracing it correctly and again you can adjust the threshold a little bit up or down to make it look good 
press OK and then pull out that tracing from your image and you should have that delete and you have to put that um, tracing into a fill layer so we'll put it in um, which is a fill layer here let's do a different one I love line layers sure this blue layer here which is a fill layer once you have that you can alt P to preview and this is what it'll look like when you engrave it so it's pretty much this exact replica of your handwriting except it'll be black obviously because it's laser cut and once you do that you just send it over to your laser again and set your speed and power first and send it over to your laser and laser cut it to whatever thing you want to laser cut it on yeah okay thank you guys for watching and if you haven't subscribed already uh, if you like my content just click on the subscribe button down below uh, to get notified of my future content um, this will help me out a lot to grow my channel and that's very much appreciated um, if you have any suggestions for future videos um, put it in the comment down below or you can email me laserillusionstech at gmail.com and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video i hope you learned something today and i hope you can um, implement this in your business or in your hobby thanks guys